Hey! In this short tutorial I'll show you how to customize any forms available in the HivePress plugin and its extensions. As you can see I have a local WordPress installation with the HivePress plugin and its default listing Hive theme along with its demo content imported. So, let's start by adding custom fields to one of the available forms. The first thing you need to check is whether it is possible without code customizations. For example, if you want to add a custom field to the listing added form, then code customization is not required at all and you can easily do this in the WordPress admin panel. So, let's try to add a custom field to this form and check how it works. Go to the WordPress dashboard, then navigate to the listings attributes section and click add new. Firstly, set the field name, allow its front end editing so it appears on the front end listing edit form and finally select the field type. You can also go through the available field settings in the Edit, Search and Display context to make sure that this custom field works in the way you want. Now let's save changes and check how it works on the front end. As you can see, our custom field appeared in the listing edit form, and you can set its value for any listing. Ok, but let's imagine that you want to add a new field to a form that doesn't have this custom fields functionality. In this case, code customizations are required. For example, let's try to add a new field to the message form. The first thing you need to check is the form name. To do this, open the browser Developer Tools and then use the Highlight tool to select the form element. Each form has a unique CSS class that you can check to easily find the form name. As you can see, our form is named Message Send. Once we have a form name, we can easily filter and customize its parameters with the custom code snippet. In this example, I'm going to add a custom code snippet to the child themes functions PHP file. Now, let's attach a new function to the form parameters hook. This is the hook name, and the only unique part in it is the form name that we have checked previously. Please note that in the hook names we always use underscores instead of dashes. And this is our custom function that filters the form parameters and returns them. Now we can finally add our custom field by defining it in this way. Here you can see a unique field name, and this is an array of the field parameters. Now let's set some basic field parameters such as label and type. You can also set some extra parameters depending on the field type. In this case let's set the minimum and the maximum text length. Keep in mind that you can set the field order to define its position within the form. Please note that underscore before the order parameter name. Now let's return to the website and check whether our message field appears in the form. Here you can see our custom field that appears at the top of the form. But what if you want to customize some of the existing fields? For example, 
let's try to customize this one and try to customize its maximum allowed text length. Firstly, you need to check the field name and you can do it in the same way as for the form name by opening the developer tools and highlighting the field element. In this case, the field is named text. Ok, let's get back to the code editor and try to customize this field. If you want to customize an existing field, then you should check whether it exists first. You can do it in this way. As you can see, we have checked that the field name is defined in the fields array. And now you can simply override the field's parameters. We have just set a custom value for the max length parameter. Now let's check how it works. That's it! I cannot enter more characters which means that the custom character limit that we have just set works. And last but not least, let's imagine that you want to remove some of the existing fields from the form. Let's try to remove the same one that we customized previously. To remove a field, you can simply unset it from the fields array, this way. Please note that we use the field name here. Ok, now let's get back to the website and check if the field is removed. That's it! The field is removed from the message form. That's how it works. You can follow the same steps to add, remove or customize any form fields available in the HivePress plugin and its extensions. So, that's all for today. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments or you can follow the link in the description to learn more about HivePress, its themes and extensions. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more developer tutorials.